Hello, this is Greg from Camnetics with another unscripted demo of GearTech. I'm just going to run through a few basic operations of GearTech. First, this is how the screen opens up when you start it, uh, with all the option menus of it, or the options properties available. Uh, let's run through those GearTech settings. You have some settings here for what's going on in the screen when you have a part showing and then there's also some special settings for bevel gears uh, settings for working with your CAD system for example you can select which CAD version you want to work with uh, settings for splines you can do how the tooth is created and major diameter is created spur gears just different different things and then there's a, a new thing here with for 2010 you can create a worm gear with an advanced tooth form which is almost accurate enough for manufacturing although we would prefer you restrict it to rapid prototyping oh let's see we can go to the registration information if you have any questions about your regis registration go here you can see what your registration code is wouldn't be hurt to, wouldn't hurt to keep a copy of that somewhere if you need it later on if you do a reinstall you will need it and one thing I did want to point out on the options here to get to the options we go you can always go back to the tools and then options and brings that up and there is a new version check on startup the default is false so you may want to set that to true if gear tech starts up and sees that there's a newer version available on the web it will notify you it will not download that version for you you will need to do that manually uh, let's see let me just add uh, I'll just add a spur gear just the default value you can do things like capture the screen to a file or to the clipboard you can capture the screen and open it in the in your default bitmap editor and makes a mess out of my little demo here but that's alright uh, you can actually open up old gear tracks files if you have uh, if you've updated from gear tracks to gear tech there's the CAD this is where you go to work with your CAD system and then there's options on the view you can show the line of action well we need two gears to show the line of action so I just turn that off so I'll turn that back on and there's the line of action back on the screen oh let's see you can do the insert from the menu basically duplicating these toolbar buttons under tools you can do some work with your cop your hub you and copy them paste them swap them you can also control your animation speeds animation direction and create data sheets in excel and text you can also create an involute xy file in excel text and a dxf file now uh, there's an option for balancing your addendum modification There's a, a reset for over and under the pin and span measurements. That way if you go on down here and onto the inspection paragraph and you've changed, let's say, your number of teeth to gauge over to four, and you don't really remember what you changed it to, you can go back up to the tools and reset that span measurement and it will set it back to the default value of three for that particular gear. Uh, there's also company standards you can set up your own standard for spur gears so you can have your own and what you need to do is work with the coefficients um, and 
once you work with those, you can back them all up, you can restore or import them from a, from a safe area. Because each time you reinstall, those things will disappear and you will need to restore those. There is a quick and dirty spur gear sizing tool here. And then if you need to look to see where GearTech is installed, you can open it up. It does get installed into a kind of a screwy location, but that's with the... Uh, uh, you'll have to talk to Bill Gates about that one. And we've been over the options under help. There's the help. There's help topics via the internet. And there may be special help for your CAD system. You can also open up the manual as a PDF and the Quick Start card. And then you create an email with your registration information. Uh, you can read the license agreement. And you can check for updates here too. And it tells me we're running the latest version. And then about GearTech. And from there you can connect to our website. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.